Okay, it is 7am, I've just gotten up, uh, and it is Saturday the 4th of November, and thus begins the start of Extra Life. I have my 3DS next to me here, and a power on, and this will signify the beginning of my 24 hour journey. Uh, let's experience this together. 3, 2, 1... Yay! Okay, right. As you can probably tell, Pokemon Gold is going to be my first game. Let's get into it. Okay, so it is just gone 8 o'clock. Uh, 8 a.m. that is. Uh, I've been playing Pokemon Gold for not actually that long because I've been putting some games on the PS4 to download to stream later. And so I am literally. Uh, just at the start of the game. However, I have been playing around with the options a bit and I discovered that you can put the sound in stereo which is really exciting because uh, I'm using headphones to play it. So I'm probably just going to play a whole hour of Pokemon Gold really. I will be putting a list, probably at the start of this actually, the list of each block that I've made, so me and Swansley have agreed on four blocks for this thing. The first is obviously from 7am till 1pm, then 1 till 7, then 7 till 1, and 1 till 7, if that makes sense. Uh, obviously, pm and am uh, as it goes on. And the first few hours are going to be kind of more relaxing games, you know, because of the start of the day, it's going to be a very long day. And then the last six hours, we've also got some pretty relaxed games. Kind of like Pokemon, I'm going to be playing um, Hatsune Miku Project Diva Future Tone, I think it's called. And that's just going to be something to relax to for the last six hours, because we will both be very, very tired. So anyway, I'm going to jump back into Pokemon. I may get a little bit of footage to kind of put some music over in the background. There's probably music playing in the background right now, uh, unless I've been incredibly lazy with my editing. Anyway, see you at 9am. Okay, it is now uh, 9.34, unfortunately I kind of lost track of time uh, playing some more Pokemon Gold, so my plan is I'm probably going to play uh, it up to 10 o'clock and then move on to another game, uh, lest this become a 24 hour Pokemon Gold marathon, which I'd probably be up for doing as well, and honestly I am thinking that if I enjoy this enough I might actually think of doing, you know, a kind of 12 hour marathon of a particular game or particular series of games in the future. Anyway, uh, my team has grown from just the Chikorita that I got as a starter to a level 8 Geodude now. I forgot how defensive Geodude is, he's, he's a beast, like everything does 1 HP damage to him, it's pretty fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on playing that until 10, which time I'll probably switch to I think FTL on Steam. I'm going to look briefly into streaming that, but I don't think I'll be able to. I think I'll have to set up a lot of things. But anyway, see you at 10 o'clock. Okay, so it is 10 or 3 as you can see here. 
I have finished my Pokemon journey for now. I'll probably continue that in the last couple hours of the marathon. Uh, as you can hear in the background there, I am playing FTL at the moment, or just about to jump into a game. Let's start a new game. I will see you guys in an hour. Okay, it is 11.04 as you can uh, see there, so I've been playing FTL for about an hour now. I died horribly on my first run, so I'm probably going to give uh, another run a shot. I may transfer on to playing then Epis Story, which is a kind of typing RPG game. I've never tried it before, but it sounds really cool and I love typing games. So if I do jump on that, I'll probably try and capture it. I managed to get a bit of FTL footage with OBS, so hopefully that came before. I might put a bit after as well of this run, I don't know. Or I might capture some epic story. Anyway, I will see you at 12 o'clock. Okay, so it has just gone 12 now. Uh, I'm still playing Epistory. I'm really impressed with the game, actually. I started out kind of a bit apathetic towards it, bronzely. As it went on, it actually got really good. I don't really care that much about the story, but the gameplay is really cool. I like the whole kind of... It rewards you for being able to type really well, and it does adapt to difficulty, obviously. The larger bugs and stuff have longer words and things like that. And, yeah, it's a pretty darn good game. Although it does feel like it could probably be something you could finish in like four hours or something. I might finish it later. I don't know, I might complete it or whatever. Already got a couple of trophies for it and stuff, or achievements rather, as Steam games have. So I'm probably going to play a bit of that for the next half an hour. And then I am off down to visit Swansley at his house. Uh, so I'll be appearing on his stream a bit. And we'll be playing some board games, which I'll show you in an hour and a bit. Basically, it's a uh, battleship and some top trumps, so I will see you at 1pm-ish, roundabout. My bus arrives a little after 1, so it'll probably be about 20 past. Okay, so uh, the time is uh, like half 1, or almost. Uh, I'm down at Swansley's place now. Hi. As you can tell, there's a green screen set up, so it's definitely not my house. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, Swansley's having a bit of stream trouble. We're kind of troubleshooting that and I'm, you know, playing stuff on my tablet in the background. I would show you some footage, but at the moment we're trying to troubleshoot this for about five minutes and then get back onto it. Um, if I don't end up doing anything this hour, then I'll just add another hour on and go to late AM. Uh, which it sounds fine now, but when I stop being able to read words, that'll probably be a problem. Anyway, so I will catch you guys at 2 p.m. I think, and if I'm very deft, I'll have fo I'll have imposed something behind me there because there is a green screen. So uh, stay tuned for more technical wizardry.